I am man's eternity. I am pleasure's final resting place. I am Adam. Lord, I love him. I love him so much. It feels like 20 years. I can't begin maybe. to understand the thoughts and ways of your mind any more than I do his. Maybe only a couple of days, I don't know. But he's my baby boy, and he's lost. It's like I'm in a vacuum, a wasteland, totally destitute. Save him from harm. There's no beginning, no Protect end. Protect him. No corners, no boundaries, but I remember. I cannot make his choices for him, but I can plead with you. Please do not give up on him. Give him opportunities to come to you, to know you, to see who you really are. Not who I tell him you are, or words from a preacher, but make it personal, Jesus. I can't help but remember. I ask this in your holy name. Amen. I love you, Adam. You've got to be kidding. Am I here or there? I see you, Mom. I understand what you're saying. But I can't... I can't. No one really buys all of it anyway. Anyone you talk to, even in this place, you just pick and choose what works for you. All this I found Jesus stuff you're throwing at me, it's really starting to weird me out. You are so off base. I I'm not talking about some Jesus stuff. I'm not talking about a feeling I get when I come to church. You know me. You know I'm for real. This isn't my grandma's religion I'm talking about. I'm different. Maybe I'm not explaining it well. Yeah, I see what's different. You're becoming Mr. Hypocritical, judgmental, and condescending. Sign me up. You are so wrong. You're the one always bringing it up anyway. You're the one that wanted to come tonight. You've been on my case ever since I got saved. I'm not the one being judgmental and condescending. Why did you come tonight if you didn't want to talk about it? Well, I invited myself along tonight because Ashley Taylor's been flirting with me since the first day of school. Check it out, Ben. She wants me. She probably feels sorry for you. <laughs> Just jealous. She is cute, though. I don't have time for females. They're complicated. More for me, my friend. More for me. That was tight, right? Yeah, wasn't too bad. Well, you were right about Ashley. She made it obvious. She wants you. <laughs> when you went to the bathroom, she was asking, did you say anything about her? What did you say? I told her that if an invitation from her could get you in the church after I've been trying for a year, I said something. <laughs> for real? Yeah. 
Hey, sorry if I was too hard on you earlier. I think my mom's messing with my head. She's been on my case constantly lately. I'm fine though. But I just want the old you back and everything will be cool. Are you fine? And if you only knew how screwed up the old me was. I can't explain to you what's different about this, or about me now. This is not a religion, man. This is real. That's why when I see you all messed up, I can't help but want you to feel the way I do now. Ben, you can't compare coping with your brother's death messed up to me getting an occasional high and just enjoying life. I'm not. Trust me. But what hurts almost as much as losing Tim is mom and dad. I've never felt so invisible in my life. And not a day goes by that I don't miss him. There's even some things that you don't know. I tried to eat Dad's gun last year. For real. I'm sorry. I felt so helpless back then. I'd never seen anyone so upset. I should have done something. I avoided you sometimes just because I didn't know what to say or how to help. But you couldn't. Don't you see where I'm headed here? This is not religion that's got me grounded again. This is like a real thing with God. I I'm sitting there with the gun. And all I could think about was John 3, 16. I, I, I didn't know what it meant or, or, or where to look for it. But I couldn't get it out of my head. John 3.16. John 3.16. So I read it. And that was all it took. I never looked back after that. I'm proud for you, man. <laughs> really, I'm being serious. I mean, I know things have been weird between us, but I can be glad you're not so messed up anymore. But just because it worked for you doesn't mean I have to go run and jump in the baptismal. This thing just isn't for me. I know it sounds gay, but I love you, man. I'm sorry you went through that, and I wasn't there for you. You're my family. Yeah, that, that sounds gay. Go home, and never mention this moment again, or I will tell Ashley that you said you love me. Now go home. Okay. All right? Now go home, sugar britches. This thing just isn't for me. Words of a genius. Like, like she would know. Man, what's up? You, you've been avoiding me, huh? Dude, I haven't seen you outside of school in almost two months now. Man, Ashley and I are getting serious. And Dave, he's cool, but he knows you don't like him. I've just been busy. And you, you become Mr. FCA. I don't see you banging down my door. Man, whatever. Dave's a dealer, and he's rude. And he'll keep being your friend as long as you keep buying from him. That's not me not liking him. That's a fact. Whatever. Now let's go to class. Religious. Oh, I'm just having a little fun. You should make fun of other people's religion. You know what? You're right. Forgive me in the name of the father and the son, the grandfather that... <laughs> whatever. Uh, I've been in church all my life and can't believe God hasn't struck me down from hanging out with you heathens. Oh, that really hurts, babe. 
I thought you loved me. Ashley, I think you should know that I am God. I can't believe I'm still alive. Show a little respect, guys. Yeah, Dave the God is feeling mad. Dave was for homecoming. Shall I go on? Oh, ouch. Can't help it, man. It's natural talent. But seriously, lay off the God basher. I knew it. Sooner or later, Preacher Boy would emerge. I am God, Ben. And as God, I think we should all just relax and have a little fun. Fun. You remember fun, right? Uh, I'm definitely sitting over there tomorrow. Come on, Miss Goody Two-Shoes. You're a princess in God's kingdom, and you're trying to make my boy here your brave prince. Hey, you know, leave me out of it, you know? I got nothing against God, but you're not going to see me ride my bike through the neighborhood handing out Bibles. You know, hell's our kingdom. We are destined to party all night with the demons. No offense, Ben, but you Bible beaters are incredibly boring. Tell me, when's the last time you even went to a party? Who cares? There's no way I'd give up all this. Hey, Adam, Jones ain't coming. What do you say you and me go find something uh, better to do? And that, my friends, is another episode of Condemning Your Friends with your host, Bible Ben, and Alleluia Ashley. Tune in next week for Burning in Hell, God's tanning bed for losers. Later. Hey, Ben, if you're ever ready, you know where we are. I think you've been there once or twice. Whatever. I love that guy. But why are you going out with him? Come on, I can go to church and not be as fanatical about the little things as you are. Lighten up. No, Ben, don't give up! Come on! I take it all back! Help me, I don't know how to change things! Stop it! Stop it! I don't want to remember. No more memories! I'm sorry. I'm sorry! This is hell. Is it? Somebody answer me! There's no parties, no demons. Where's the fire? Devil? Where are you? I changed my mind. This is a long, endless dream. Eleven. Mom? Mother? I hear you. It's me, Adam. Mom! I love him so much. I love you too. Where are you? I can't see you. He's my baby. And he's lost. Save him from harm. Protect him. I cannot make his choices for him, Lord. But I can plead with you, please. Don't give up on him. Give him opportunities to come to you. To know you, Lord. To see who you really are, and not who I tell him you are, or words from a preacher. Make it personal. Jesus, I ask this in your holy name. You've got to be kidding. No! Get up! Go to her! Move! Help me, God! Help me! Hey, you're home. Yeah, what's up? I just wanted to see you. I never get to see you anymore. Well, you never hang out with me. Your room is gross and you're always Ashley Ashley. Sarah, Sarah, you got your little boyfriends. I saw Terry coming over yesterday. Gross, we have a project for school. Sure you do. Adam, are you going to hell? What? Why would you ask something like that? I heard Mom and Aunt Trisha talking the other day. Aunt Trisha said if you don't get your life right, that you go to hell. 
Mom was crying and said that she prayed for you all the time. In Sunday school, Mr. Charlie said hell was a terrible place where you're all alone and away from God. Great. Now it's coming from you. In Sunday school, Mr. Charlie said that you remember everything that you ever did wrong. I don't want you to go to hell. I love you. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. People only go someplace when they die. I'm still a kid. Look at me. I'm going to be here for a long time. Promise me, Adam. Promise. I promise. I promise. Shh. Shh. I'm still a kid. I'll be around. I promise. No! I broke my promise! Why? I'm too young to die! I'm still a kid! I thought I had time! I thought I had time! Why? I can't believe that'll let you drag me here. Nobody made you come. And on a Sunday morning, too. I'm supposed to sleep today. If I miss kickoff... Okay, I get your point. We've been dating now for six months, and this is the first time you've joined me. I'll never ask you again. The Bible says hell is a horrible place of great torment. So Boy, am I lucky. I had a sermon on giving all your money to the church. Are you really into this stuff? Shh. Um, yes, well, not everything, but being here is the important part. What? I can't believe what I'm hearing. The Bible says that hell is where the worm dieth not. Seriously, if you were worried about the sinner, church will be later. Shh, really? Like at one. Unless it's football season, then you go about 6.30. But then there's Sunday night football. How about Saturday afternoon? That'd be better. Well, then that interferes with college football weekend. How about like Tuesday night? But that all should come to repentance. Amen. That's right. That's right. Amen. He's given us more than just old stories. Bow with us. Let us pray. Lord, you see us here. You sent your one and only son to die on the cross so that we could have life and not face hell or an eternity of torment without you. Adam, you want to pray with us? For what? I'm out, man. Life, life, and eternity, an eternity of death is more like it. Congratulations, Adam. You are in hell. This is not a fantasy book. This is no Halloween party. My friend, you are in hell. Look around you, buddy. Here you are. Alone, save your memories. Memories of each time you left it. Come on, Adam. Laugh. This is hilarious. later than I thought. We better hurry up. You're not gonna tell anyone, right? What? Well, I know you and Ben talk about a lot of stuff, and I just don't want you telling him. Why just him? Why didn't you say Dave? Well, Ben and I go to church together. We're planning the Tree Love Waits rally. That'd be really awkward if he found out about this. You're kidding. Whatever. You know, this stuff is really starting to weird me out. Uh, hey, that's a big part of who I am. Who you are? Who are you, Ashley? Are you my girlfriend? Why is that? You know, why would you want to hang out with a big sinner like me? Oh, 
Wait, now I guess I seduced you into becoming a big sinner too. Would you just quit? I only asked you not to tell Ben. That's it. You're the one who's blowing this out of proportion. This was supposed to be a special night and now we're fighting. I thought this would make you happy. Obviously I made a mistake. Hey. Hey, I'm sorry. I don't know why we're fighting. You know I've been under a lot of stress lately. I know, and I thought tonight would help make things better. I'm sorry. I love you. You don't know what it's like being a church kid. My parents would absolutely kill me if they found out about tonight. That's why I don't drink. Not so much for the holy reasons, but because I'm expected to act a certain way. Well, I won't tell anyone that you're a wild woman. You quit. You really are a bad influence, you know. I'm going to convert you in no time. It's been my plan all along. What's up, man? <laughs> uh, you look fried. Oh, thanks, man. Spoken like a true friend. Something happened with Ashley? No. I mean, yeah, but that's not it. I don't want to even talk about that. Uh, it's nothing, I guess. I got in this really huge fight with my mom last night. And I was pretty cruel. Yeah, but it's nothing I can't handle. Well, stick around. We got a little while before the bell. Talk to me. I don't need you to start preaching to me. I promise. She found some pot in my bag. No way. Well, apparently, she didn't kill you. Tell me the truth. Am I going to hell? Where does that come from? I mean, you go from your mom totally busting you to hell? Come on, just answer me. I mean, everybody's thinking it, but no one will just come out and say it. Adam, you're going to hell. Stop this crazy living or you'll burn in flames forever. Adam, stop this crazy living or you'll burn in hell forever. Finally. Was that so hard? Man, let's go. Wait. You're freaking out. Talk to me. I'm, I'm totally freaking out. I mean, sometimes I think I should just drive until the road ends. My mom didn't get mad. You know, that's the weird thing. She just cried and told me how she's been praying and fasting. and She's convinced that a little weed in my like a Sunday school merit badges is going to land me in hell. She's even got Sarah casting me off. Sarah, too. At least you know you're loved. At least they're not ignoring you. And your parents still acting weird? I guess they'll snap out of it eventually. It's been 18 months since Tim died. But I'm cool, though. It's kind of weird. <laughs> Seriously, I don't know how you get through your day. I mean, your best friend is crazy. You don't got a date for the homecoming dance. And you just failed your Spanish test. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. I tried to cheat off you, but realized your answers were more wrong than mine. Great. That goes my day. Honestly, how do you do it? Don't give me some Jesus is my co-pilot bumper sticker cliche. Well, I'm not flying a plane here. I I'm just realizing that God has a plan, whether I see it or not. He's in control. I just relax and try to take it in stride. I don't think that's possible. Yes, it is. I'm praying for you, man. Get out, you pray for me? Every day. About what? I mean, like, what do you say? That you will be protected. That God will make himself real to you. That you would come to know him. Not just his story, but really experience him. Like you? <laughs> I can't do that. Yes, you could. All you gotta do is pray. I don't even know how. I mean, what would I even say? Well, you know that God loves you so much, he sent his son to die for your sin so that you could have eternal life. All you got to do is believe in your heart, in Jesus, and confess it, and you'll be free, saved. Yeah, but what about the pot? I mean, what if I really screwed things up? You don't have to be a big sinner or a little sinner. Anyone who's apart from God is a sinner. Prostitutes, potheads, terrorists, gossip, whatever. Jesus covers it all. 
I know all about Jesus, but how do I take what I know and, and turn it into how you feel? Man, this sounds like some after school special. Let's pray. Pray with me. Lord, you see us here. Lord, we've been through a lot together and we've made a lot of mistakes, but Lord, we want to make this right. Hey, Ben, sorry, I gotta go. Um, uh, maybe we could do this later, but it just feels weird. Just not now. No, now! Now is cool! Ben! Ben, help me! I, I can't... God! Give me another chance! I wasn't ready then! I needed more time! I'm praying now, okay? I don't know what to say! Help me! He's my baby boy, but he's lost. Save him from harm. Protect him. Please, do not give up on him. Give him opportunities to come to you, to know you, to see who you really are, not who I tell him you are, or words from a preacher, but Jesus, make it personal to you. I ask this in your holy name. Separated from God is an eternity of torment. I know, I know what he's saying. <laughs> Shut up, you're embarrassing. Excuse me, sir. I'm running out of time. I need you to get to the prayer bar. I don't know how to pray. In due time, son. Be seated. I won't. I, I need your help. Haven't we all been desperate at one time or another? Just not now. Promise me, Evan. Promise. Promise, Sarah. Promise. No! God! God! Save me! Help me! Somebody help me! God! Give me another chance! I wasn't ready then! I needed more time! Stop it! Stop it! I don't want to remember. No more memories! I'm sorry. I'm sorry! The worm never dies, huh, preacher? The memory never dies. The worm just pours around, hole deep inside my head. Unrelenting torture. It gnaws at me! Pray now, okay? I don't know what to say. Help me! Why? I'm too young to die. I'm 
still a kid. I thought I had time. I thought I had time. Why?